mean, it looks like a car. I mean, it looks like it's on its wheels. I mean, there is a missing chick in a car. So this one, I don't know if they know about. I think there's a straight road right there. They might have launched off. And I was like, oh, that's orange. Then I went up on top and I saw this. I was like, big orange cab. <laughs> but it's a Plymouth. Today we traveled back up to Knoxville, Tennessee to search this river using sonar to find all the cars that are dumped out here. Now we have been out to Knoxville before and we found a few vehicles right off this boat ramp over here. And we already dove on, I guess, what was it, like four? Four cars? Mm, One of them, a couple of them four. the police knew about because the dive team was actually here when we pulled up. But then a, two of them, they didn't know about so we're gonna be traveling around this whole river and there is definitely one other car way down river we found we haven't dove on there's probably more cars right here we just never searched yeah we're Probably. gonna go over this whole thing and uh, we got all our car. sonar set up here we got our another one here i mean we are good to go today i just wish it was like sunny and warm it'd be give nice it, give it time soon you'll be complaining be like <laughs> man it's so hot it's too hot i want to go back to the Prob winter probably the drizzle is what gets me i mean it's a beautiful day look at this we get to deal with for like the next week. <laughs> so we're gonna get out here, scan this whole river, hopefully find some stuff to dive on. So let's go. We're gonna go under this bridge. I feel like we didn't look at it real well last time we were here. I think you're right. But it's 15 feet. Oh. And there's like a parking area right up there. You could definitely drive off. Look at this spot. I mean, that's all cleared out. People park right there and fish. Question is, did we miss a car? I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised. And there's the pillar. You have to use a rotator to get off from there, though. Get a car out, probably. Shit. Use yours. Drag that baby right up there. It's seven feet now. It's getting shallow. Uh, that might be a car. That's something. Casting a shadow and it kind of looks like a window. Yeah. Does it look like a car in here? Not my sonar, but something. There's a lot of crap over here, though. I think that's what we saw last time and we were like not 100% sure about. I don't know. I'd have to get more than one pass. Oh, yeah. That's there a car. she is. 100% a car. Is it? Oh, yeah. Looks like a truck, actually. Oh yeah. The bed. It does look like a truck. I don't have a great shot. So one truck that we missed last time. We kind of suspected it was something. I mean, check out this. Uh, check out this hill right here, though. It just screams like, drive a car off me. Man, that's cool. I don't know what the... That was a truck? I don't, I don't It might have What is that we just went over? I mean, that something was a vehicle. Else. I just don't know if that was the one we saw earlier. Or There's what? something else right here. There's a lot of rocks here. It's kind of... Sometimes the rocks look just like cars, so it's a little tricky. Well, do that. But, got one truck for sure. Let's keep scanning. Well, I don't know. So we may have just found another vehicle, it looks like. We kind of went over it with it. We kind of missed it for a second. I mean, there's an opening right there. I don't know what this used to be. I mean, I don't think the apartments are that old. But we don't know if 100%. We got to go over this thing again. It's a little too slow for me. Is it a car? Is it a boat? stretched out this man this sonar is finicky i mean you got to be going two miles an hour to get a good shot i mean it looks like a car i mean it looks like it's on its wheels it might be the roof might be caved in i mean there is a missing chick in a car oh, oh no look at that one oh, that's yeah. better that's a car. go forward well this one i don't know if they know about until we dive down on it. How the hell they'd have got it here unless they went like right it, through there dude, it might, well, there, i think there's a road the i think there's a straight road right there they might have Launched off. It might be before this stuff was built over here. Does that chick live? Or we're gonna do some research on that girl again. Well, we'll dive on this one. It's off to the right. Definitely a car. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 
Oh, you got that because you're okay. It looks Transfusion's a little on that side of the yeah. boat. I was like, what the hell is that? It looks a little boxy. Here, I'll spin around and go straight down on it so you can get your best shot. I did also want to mention that there is a missing woman in the area, Regina Robinson, and she's driving a Toyota Celica. 2001. 2001. So we're going to keep an eye out. I mean, that one car doesn't exactly look like the right shape, but uh, we're definitely going to dive it and confirm either way. All right just got suited up as you can see and uh, I feel warm I don't feel that cold but this water is probably gonna be a little cold nah sometimes it's like that where it's like when it's freezing outside the water is warmer you'd rather be in the water but when it's not that cold the water's colder mm. it's like backwards anyways we're gonna try to do this quick it's already overcast and it's gonna get dark quick so Let's get out of here. We gotta mark it with a magnet first though. Yeah. All right, just got the car marked. The buoy's right there. So I mean, it's, you know, it's not bad. The current's a little deceiving. I mean, right here though, I don't know where, it had to go in right here somewhere. It's just so strange to me. True. That's it, a lot of plays for it. I bet it's old. Like we get down there, you'd be like, now I get it. If, it, if it's, <laughs> Probably like an 80s model. It, it probably is, but if it, I mean, there's a big, there's a strong chance this could be an accident. Could be. Because it's you not a spot it. you dump a car off, I wouldn't think, unless this used to be like a parking lot, and then they turned it into like a walkway and all this stuff, which is possible. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I'm thinking it's like an old Cadillac or something. <laughs> probably. Bring a hubcap this time. All right. I'm a Mento. Man, there's a big stick right here. All the windows were up except the driver window. Something old, I couldn't find any decals, but it's been down there a long time. It did have a plate. Hmm. 3-84867. I couldn't figure out what it was. Real lights on it. 
Huh? It was old and like rusted, falling apart. I mean, yes, yeah, I was not surprised. There was no decals on the wheels. <sighs> Steel wheels. It uh, I mean, it was you know it had it was a two door car, but then it had like the little triangle window behind the back, and then the hood was gone. I mean, it was rusted, falling apart. The bumper there there wasn't much to identify it. Like the back lights could probably identify it, but it was a some sort of old car not i looked inside it appeared pretty empty i could see the seats i mean it was full of sand up to the seats so i mean yeah well, we have a plate yeah we can turn the plate in let so in. that'll tell us our inform information i can actually see so enough so that's good let's get down to the next ones though and check this thing out this old structure i don't know what it dates back to but definitely an old bridge it used to be here dates back to the days of yore. There's some sort of old building. It looks like an old school to me over there. And there's a boat ramp over there. We gotta go check that. And more kayaks. Dang, there's just stuff everywhere. Oh yeah, there's a couple of kayaks over there. I'm trying what? to understand why they uh, don't take them home. They just, maybe, well, maybe they're homeless kayaks, I don't know. They might be, I mean, I don't know. Come out here and catch fish. Yeah. But there's an airport straight ahead and a little creek to the right. We're gonna go up a little ways, but I don't think too, too far this way, because the city's that way. And I imagine we're gonna find more there. But uh, let's keep going a little bit. Looks like it might get really shallow up here. What does your, what does your uh, chart say? It says stay away from the left. Where those guys are? No, I'll sit over here. And there's like a park right here we're going by, but there's no really road right next to it. It'd be kind of difficult to get a car. And stay in the middle. We just went over something that looked buried. Might have been a vehicle? I don't know for sure. We're going down here. The airport's right here. And then there's a bridge. We'll just go down a little ways. But I think it gets really shallow. We just came across another boat ramp we didn't know about. But the whole airport is this whole middle island. So I don't think it's public. What do you think? I don't know. It might be, it might be a park or... Part of the airport. I can't know. really tell because there's, there's like program. trash cans. Yeah. I think it's private. Definitely didn't see no cars. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Kind of surprised because kind of kind of lots of cars everywhere here. But well, we're going away from the city too. That's the perfect place to dump cars. No Maybe. one will see. Sometimes. What's that? Oh, I didn't even see that on mine. Kind of there. Uh oh. Very well might be something. You think it's a car? I don't know. It's throwing up a hell of a shadow. It's a huge shadow. Yeah, right, we could put a note in it. We'll check it on the way back. Looks a little small though. Over on this whole side there's like trails going all the way down. That's a cool nice little area. We'll keep on going though. I don't know what that might have been something. It was very tall whatever it was. Look at this impressive wall right here. There's like a cool trail that goes all the way around. They built this boardwalk. There's even like a little cave thing right over there. It'd be a nice trail to walk with your uh, significant other, wouldn't you say? Not this one. <laughs> I ain't walking unless there's a reason to walk. But I think we're about to turn around because I don't think there's much, many more spots a car could go in. Well, is that what you think? Then we'll head back to that other, the car we found might back that way and then get some more shots, but it's a really pretty area and the rain is starting to clear up, so that's good. All right, so we just made it back down here to this other boat ramp that looks private to me, I don't know. Yeah, it looks pretty fortified. It's like a factory or maybe an old school? Or I don't know. It's water treatment. Oh. Well, something with the water. I don't know what it is, but there's a boat ramp here. <coughs> Oh, they ain't a kayak, that's a buoy. Oh, there's a buoy. So we just made it back down to the boat ramp and we're gonna go over these cars we found before, see if they're still here. <coughs> I think they will be, but the dive team we talked to last time was, they were wanting to get them removed, weren't they? They, or they said the one right here, they practiced diving on. Yeah, I don't know if they was too interested in pulling that one out. The other one, the way the cop, like, he even called you, didn't he? He was like, hey, you want to help? Yeah, it was something? stolen and new. I mean, it's, it's right here past this dock up here. We'll go over it and check it out again. 
we got a little better setup right now so but my money is saying that everything's still here and they haven't pulled it out yet Doesn't but they did have a good dive team so there it is yep it's still here man look at that picture yeah. it looked more like a bourbon if it was actually like if it was slow mine's not like see through the windows image but you can tell yours is Mine's amazing. And there should be another one like right here. And there it there is. It's upside down. Still that's there. That's the stolen one. It, yeah. They wanted to get out. But I mean, that's it's in a weird spot. You'd almost be better putting a rotator backing up right here and lifting it up. Be fun. But that's uh, like a business property or something. And on the other side over there, there is other one, another one. The mystery one. Or should we just stay on this side going down? I'll stay here. Yeah, we really hadn't gone into down. You can, I, you can barely see the buildings. It's so overcast. But we're heading down. We're going to cover this whole river today. And uh, if we found those other ones before that they didn't know about, we might find more. All right, we're coming down in town right now. We're going right by the river boats and all that. We're about to hit under the bridges. And this is kind of the downtown area. I think there's a theater over there and some bank buildings. There was a bunch of tires. I don't know how well you can see them. There's a bunch of little tires all up and down here, though. I'm not seeing any cars yet. I know there is farther down. Sometimes you would think that right in town there'd be a lot of vehicles, but then you don't. Then there's like none. But some cities, like what was it, like Pittsburgh or something? There's you know tons of cars out there. Yeah. They were everywhere. Just weird. I guess it really depends on the spot, like the access, because there's like it's all it's always like marinas, restaurants, or like fenced walkways or railroads. Sometimes it'll just be like a parking lot with no guardrails, and it's like okay, yeah, there's gonna be lots of cars there. As you guys can see, we're right by the University of Tennessee. And uh interesting fact about this, you may remember a certain game not too long ago against Alabama they Hard threw the, the goalpost I not 100% sure but I think they threw it in right here but because we actually wanted to come and do a video pulling the goalpost out of the water but apparently it floated and it floated downriver and it was recovered by a fraternity or something boo so I don't think it's actually at the bottom because that would be an awesome story but yeah we did want to come do that dude there's so many tires right here Look at all the tires. Those are all tires. There's so many. There might be a car around here, but there might. it's a train track right there. So anytime there's a train track, it's kind of annoying because how would a car get over the train track unless it's like, it just doesn't make as much sense. There are a lot of tires right here. Holy smokes. Yeah, I know. This is where the tires go in. It's the tire graveyard. We need to talk to uh the University of Tennessee's uh, About their what do you call it? Their, their, their environmental <laughs> protection program. Yeah. Comment okay. if you guys have ever been to this stadium and seen a game. I've yeah. never uh, I've never seen it before. I've never been this close. We never got this far down the river last time we were here. Are you honored to be in the presence I, of well, the orange know, country? I don't know. I mean I'm I'm a I guess technically I'm a gamecock. You're a cock. from South Carolina. <laughs> You're a big old gamecock. But I went to uh, USC. Tires just keep going, dude. Dude, there's so many tires. That's horrible. All right, so we made it down to uh, the boat ramp. We have not checked yet. This is the closest one into one of the. Well, might be the closest into town. But it's kind of a strange ramp, though. It's 18 feet here. We're just gonna go by this ramp. I don't know if it's still used, but I think it's a public boat ramp. And there's like a walkway they built right over it. So you couldn't put like a tall boat in, but you probably put put a car in. You could put a car in for sure. I think you can get away with one going in too. It's 18 feet. It's deep enough. I think we're gonna find one here. I think so. Really makes me cold. <laughs> it's like you're cold. Oh my gosh. You're old. <laughs> I think they're one and the same. There's like another sort of boat ramp over there. Hey, we're straight off the boat ramp. We'll see. Oh my gosh, that, a nice car. That is a that is a car. 
hundred yeah. percent. Man, we got a lot to dive on actually today. It's a good looking car. I don't know about diving on the truck, but I want to hit all the cars because that's the missing person. Is that the only one out here? Uh, that one looks kind of boxy too. They always look boxy. They do, they do. Sometimes we go down there and it looks like a car, and then it's a truck, and we're like, what? So you can't really tell, but we know that one up there is a truck. Yeah, definitely. Is this another one? Huh. Is that a car? I think we found another one. It's upside down, I think. I think it is. It might be a little buried, but it looks, small, it looks like but... a, a wheel. A shadow. Is there another boat? All right, we zipped down to probably the last spot we're gonna check today because we've already been farther and we know there's a car down there, but we're running out of time. There's like a parking lot up over here. I don't know if a car could go out. I think I think it's close enough over the years, you know. I don't know if the trees were less thick as they look. 30 feet though. We're just gonna come up here along the banks and just see. We keep finding cars out here, so I wouldn't be surprised. But if we do see one, it's probably not new at all. Yeah. Parking lot's like right there. I just wanted to look really quick. Oh yeah, you could, the car could definitely come through. <clears throat> Guess we'll zip back up and I'll get my gear on, do some diving. <laughs> back down here at the second boat ramp this one's gonna be pretty easy because it's right there it's so close the next one's gonna be a little bit more tricky uh jeremy's gonna have to mark that pretty much on his own well i'll sit on the front and probably help with the magnet but let's dive on this one first this one has me a little suspicious because it's usually when cars are so close to the boat ramp it means that they haven't been in as long the other one you know it's pretty far down. It could have drifted if the windows were, you know, if there's an air bubble in there. This one looks like a big old boat of a car, though. I think it's going to be another like we just saw, honestly. We're looking for a Celica. Did they say what yeah. color? No, but that's a unique looking car. So, I mean. Yeah, I'll know pretty quick. All right, let's do it. Actually. down there I was like I thought it was red at first I was like oh crap but it's looking really weird in the front of the car and then I was like oh that's orange then I went up on top and I saw this I was like big orange cap <laughs> but it's a Plymouth is it like it's like an old Plymouth but it didn't look like it's well you know how is it the same shape as the Bel Air you ever see those like old checker or, like New York taxi cabs that like they're like old muscle cars they're not muscle I guess they're hot rods but I mean it's like a big Plymouth car like bright chrome, orange chrome, chrome bumpers and all that i think so it's, it's kind of a little bit buried but we could get it out because it's Dude, right here we got to come back like now that is so cool that almost like was fall that was i mean that was falling off 
I wonder how, I, I couldn't find a plate. The back was kind of buried. This thing's cool though, man. Yeah, it's really cool. All the windows were up though. It's so weird. It's kind of weird. My first thought was this is like a school initiation thing. Big, Big orange, orange cab, but I guess it's just like a normal. Maybe a college taxi cab. So taxi cab, yeah. Before Uber. We should see if there's a taxi missing. Oh That's yeah, That's old. Here. For once, it's like a weird car, <laughs> not a normal color. I, dude, for a second, I thought it was like the, uh, what's that old orange car? The muscle car? The Dukes of yeah, the Dukes of Hatch. I thought it was. All right, so that last one was super cool. We're definitely going to be pulling that out on Wrecked and Recovered. Uh, big orange cab. We just got this one marked. It's upside down. So the license plate should be in the air if there is one. And the only problem is this one's out more in the middle. It's gonna be a little annoying, but uh, definitely be, not gonna be annoying. Should be fine. Hopefully the magnet stuck on good, but this, the current really isn't that bad. And remember like if, 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 you, if the magnet comes off, just, just abandon it and go straight down and then straight against the current. And you still, it still should take you right to the car. In yeah. theory, if you don't go, there's left a lot of right, sticks and logs though down here. Don't fall over, man. You're good. <laughs> Should be fine. Lovely. Oh no. W passport didn't look very old I thought I didn't have a plate at first but I was covered with like those like plastic protectors yeah. so I had to smash it with my hand and broke it I didn't have a, a tool with me I thought I had my screwdriver nope. but uh I got it out just wasn't easy 
12 years? It didn't look 12 years old. Maybe that's maybe I'm looking at something different. Is that 17? Weird. Could that be like 12 years? I mean, it didn't look that old. I would think five years max. Yeah. Well, hell, we got we got those cleared at least. Yeah. Pretty good day, I think. It's not the worst. Why don't we zip back to the vehicles so you don't freeze to death? Yeah, it's getting kind of cold. Oh, we talk. All right, so we just got back to the boat ramp. It is getting dark, but we were able to dive on all those vehicles. What an awesome day diving. All the vehicles appeared empty. I looked through pretty good. And you know, some, a couple of them are, were pretty old. That This last VW was, uh, what did that plate say? 2011? It's hard to believe. Oh, the last one. Last one, it said it expired 2011. It didn't look old, yeah. but maybe it's lasted longer because it's upside down. Maybe it's, maybe it's just, Volkswagens, man, they're built to last. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it was in pretty good condition from what I could tell, and uh, that one appeared clear as well. As far, I mean, it, you know, but we were that was the only so we got two plates. One of them was really old, yeah, on, that the, on, that, expired on that first mystery car. Hopefully, I'll be able to figure out if you guys recognize the taillight in the back. I don't think the visibility was great, but we'll try our best here. Um, and then the second cab, which we're pulling out on Wrecked and Recovered, so make sure to subscribe to Wrecked and Recovered. It's going to be our most awesome pull yet. I didn't see a plate because the back was kind of buried. There might be a plate, I don't know. But then the very last one, the Volkswagen had a plate. And hopefully we have some updates from the police soon on that. I'm just going to give them a call because we know them. I don't think they're going to show up today. But, uh, but all in all, it was a great day. We were able to find some more vehicles, definitely some ones that hadn't been located or dove on at least. Since we Every time you get a plate, you know it hasn't been dove on. What do you think about today? That's fun. There's lots of cars out here. I mean, you did all the diving today, so I'm, I was I'm not going to complain too much about that because I was <laughs> I was cold not in the water. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. My feet were the only thing that really got cold because they, they leak. My dry suit leaks somewhere around the feet area. Yeah, I did mention that in my video that <laughs> that you, you your wetsuit has seen better days. Maybe yeah, well, our people can help us I get, you get it dry repaired. Again. The problem is getting it repaired takes time and it costs a lot of money and I wouldn't have a dry suit for like a month or two. Yeah, it's almost like In the summer is when I need to do it because I can wear my wetsuit and get it repaired. I think we should get a couple of those hazmat dry suits that keep us, I mean, the ultimately. Orange ones, they would look yeah. cool on video. They would look cool and actually that's what this for. We're always swimming in gas and oil and other crap. So yeah. Actually would be a good idea. Yeah. But we're on to the next case. We have a lot more stuff coming up for you guys. So I really appreciate all your support. We could not make these videos. As always, I say it every video. I appreciate you guys subscribing, liking, watching all the videos. I mean, I literally, this is our full-time job, going out trying to help families find missing loved ones, remove cars from the water, and uh, you know, it's just, it's just amazing that we're able to do this. So thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.